Number 10. Now you see me. Four magicians each answer a mysterious summons to an obscure address with secrets inside. A year later, they are the four horsemen, big-time stage illusionists who climax their sold-out Las Vegas show with a bank apparently robbed for real. This puts FBOE agents Dylan Rhodes and Interpol agent Alma Dre on the case to find out how they did it. However, this mystery proves to be difficult to solve even with the insights of professional illusion exposer Thaddeus Bradley. What follows is a bizarre investigation where nothing is what it seems to be, with illusions, dark secrets, and hidden agendas galore, as all involved are reminded of a great truth in this puzzle. The closer you look, the less you see. Number 9. Invictus. This movie tells the inspiring true story of how Nelson Mandela joined forces with the captain of South Africa's rugby team, Francois Pionnard to help unite their country. Newly elected President Mandela knows his nation remains racially and economically divided in the wake of apartheid, believing he can bring his people together through the universal language of sport. Mandela rallies South Africa's rugby team as they make their run to the 1995 Rugby World Cup Championship match. Number 8. Driving Miss Daisy. An elderly Jewish widow living in Atlanta can no longer drive. Her son insists she allow him to hire a driver, which in the 1950s meant a black man. She resists any change in her life. But, Hoke, the driver, is hired by her son. She refuses to allow him to drive her anywhere, at first. But Hoke slowly wins her over with his native good graces. The movie is directly taken from a stage play and does show it. It covers over 20 years of the pair's life together as they slowly build a relationship that transcends their differences. Number 7 The Bucket List Corporate billionaire Edward Cole and working-class mechanic Carter Chambers have nothing in common except for their terminal illnesses. While sharing a hospital room together, they decide to leave it and do all the things they have ever wanted to do before they die, according to their bucket list. In the process, both of them heal each other become unlikely friends, and ultimately find joy in life. Number 6. Lean on Me An arrogant and unorthodox teacher returns as principal to the idyllic high school from which he had earlier been fired, to find it a den of drug abuse, gang violence, and urban despair. Eventually, he is successful, but unorthodox methods lead to a clash with city officials that threatens to undo all his efforts, based on a true story. Number 5. Glory. Shaw was an officer in the Federal Army during the American Civil War, who volunteered to lead the first company of black soldiers. Shaw was forced to deal with the prejudices of both the enemy and of his own fellow officers. Number 4 Million Dollars Baby. Wanting to learn from the best, aspiring boxer Maggie Fitzgerald wants Frankie Dunn to train her. At the outset, he flatly refuses, saying he has no interest in training a girl. Frankie leads a lonely existence, alienated from his only daughter and having few friends. Maggie's rough around the edges, but shows a lot of grit in the ring, and he eventually relents. Maggie not only proves to be the boxer he always dreamed of having under his wing, but a friend who fills the great void he's had in his life. Maggie's career skyrockets, but an accident in the ring leads her to ask Frankie for one last favor. Number 3. Unforgiven. After escaping death by the skin of her teeth, the horribly disfigured prostitute, Delilah Fitzgerald, and her appalled and equally furious co-workers summon up the courage to seek retribution in 1880s Wyoming's dangerous town of Big Whiskey, with a hefty bounty on the perpetrator's heads. Triggered by the tough sheriff, Little Bill, Daggett's insufficient sense of justice, the infamous former outlaw and now destitute Kansas hog farmer, William Money, embarks on a murderous last mission to find the men behind the hideous crime, along with his old partner in crime, Ned Logan, and the brash but inexperienced young gunman, the Schofield Kid. Money enters a perilous world he has renounced many years ago, knowing that he walks right into a deadly trap. However, he still needs to find a way to raise his motherless children. Now, blood demands blood. Who is the hero, and who is the villain? Number 2. 7. A film about two homicide detectives' desperate hunt for a serial killer who justifies his crimes as absolution for the world's ignorance of the seven deadly sins. The movie takes us from the tortured remains of one victim to the next as the sociopathic, 
John Doe sermonizes to Detective Somerset and Mills one sin at a time. The sin of gluttony comes first, and the murderer's terrible capacity is graphically demonstrated in the dark and subdued tones characteristic of film noir. The seasoned and cultured but jaded Somerset researches the seven deadly sins in an effort to understand the killer's modus operandi, while the bright but green and impulsive Detective Mills scoffs at his efforts to get inside the mind of a killer. Number 1 The Shawshank Redemption chronicles the experiences of a formerly successful banker as a prisoner in the gloomy jailhouse of Shawshank after being found guilty of a crime he did not commit. The film portrays the man's unique way of dealing with his new, tortuous life. Along the way he befriends a number of fellow prisoners, most notably a wise long-term inmate named Red. 